Okay, this is not really a tutorial or walkthrough or anything. This is more uh, a video describing uh, how to deal with the footage. And I'm describing that while preparing some files for the DVD. Um, and I will just keep on talking while I'm doing that. So the, the problem is that, I mean, we cannot, by all means, we cannot really put all this footage on the DVD. And even uploading that will be enormous and we we try we would want to try to uh, give you a dvd that at least you can see what's happening uh, at least in the files that we have been or that i've been creating walkthroughs or tutorials for now the problem is that uh, many of these shots are using uh, a frame range for example 500 up to 700 or 2300 up to 2500 or something and that would mean that in order to uh, for Blender to uh, automatically find the correct frames, that would mean um, that we will have to uh, upload all the files. And we can't do that, it's impossible. So instead, we decided to prepare just 10 files that will work with the high-res footage. And I will have to uh, prepare the frame ranges. And I thought maybe I can just uh, show you what I'm doing here. So this file is already done. So this is 12a. And uh, the frame range of the sequence starts at 111, goes up to this frame. Um, and of course, the original footage would start at frame 000, because that was the naming convention of our exporter. And now, if we don't have all these frames, um, I just simply set the start frame to 111, accept that, and then set the offset also to minus 111. And that way, the footage will still work. And just to give you an idea, uh, of the whole process, I'm, I thought maybe I can just show you that because dealing with the footage will be one problem for you, I guess. So this is in the folder 12a and then I'm using linear HD. So we always had folders 4k, the name was for that was just linear and then we had the folder linear HD. And on the DVD, of course, that will probably look <laughs> different. So you will have to sort of find your way through that. So now, even though I've changed these frames, it still works. At least I hope so.